Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use model.find1 to return a single matching document from your database. This is going to be very similar to the last one. If you haven't followed along with me, um, you might want to start on follow along with it throughout the whole thing. Um, model.find1 behaves like .find, but it returns only one document, not an array. Even if there are multiple items, it is especially useful when searching by properties that you have declared as unique. Uh, find just one person which has a certain food in the person's favorites using model find one and then person has a certain food Use the function argument food as a search key <clears throat> Okay <coughs> Model dot find one here we go So here we say the model is person and we're gonna say dot find one and within here, we are going to pass in, um, what did they say? Uh, use the argument food as the search key. And so we're going to pass in an object. And um, we're going to say uh, favorite foods is equal to food. And then we're going to pass in an anonymous function, a callback function. So once we have our results, we will do this. And we want to do this done within here because done is part of the thing and we want to make sure that we retrieve the data. And so here we're going to have our error or we're going to have our um, food, our um, person with food. Our favorite foods of food function food we want to have what are we here finding here we're like individual food lover so we're gonna say whoever is the individual food lover and we're going to return this with the done function if we find it but if we don't find it we want to return if there is an error we want to return console.log, we want to return and just console log the error. Okay. And so we want to stop our server and then rerun the server. And then we'll see if we got it right. So I'm going to copy my URL from here. I'm going to go back over to the first one by pressing Command 1. I can use Command 1, Command 2, or Command 3 to cycle through the tabs. Paste this in here. And it looks like that worked. Okay, so what could we do? Well, to shorten this up, right now this is breaking into two lines, which is sort of annoying. So to shorten it up, we could get rid of the function and use an arrow function here, which almost tightens it up, um, but not quite. Um, we could just call this one er. That doesn't quite get us there into either. So uh, person food, we could just call this food person. And then if we go food person, now our code is looking more succinct. Um, we have this if return console error. Um, instead of, we could actually, I'm pretty sure that we could refactor this also down to, to an arrow function. And so now if we were to stop and rerun, now that we've refactored our code a little bit, I think that we would still find um, that we are getting the right answer. Cool. So we were able to refactor that code a little bit to get a little bit more succinct looking thing. So once again, we're saying the model.find1 and it behaves like find, but it returns only one. So that's why I say food person rather than first food persons um, because we're getting the first person in the list that has that food. Okay, so well, since we're, and then we're returning, if there's an error, we return a console log and an error and we don't do anything. Otherwise we'd go with the default um, mongoose function of done, which uh, continues the program from running. So now that we've got that complete and we're confident we're good to go, we're going to delete all the commented out code and we'll be ready to move on to the next one. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.